All right, Jim, what are we going to do here? We are going to deburr this block a little bit. You can see the casting. Blast it off. Now we're going to take the main caps off in order and lay them out. Clevite, Clevite bearings. Unpackaging these guys. We got our gasket set here. Assembly lube. Ultra black. And the secret recipe, hyper lube. Stick like snot, like honey. honey badger. The honey badger would be approval of using hyper lube to pre lube everything. Tech tip rear main seal, lip forward. Why is that, Jim? Keep the oil in the engine. Well, that's the short answer. <laughs> <laughs> So this is a 68 large journal 327. Number said it was in a, actually from what I was told from where I got it, it came out of a 68,000 mile original, never been touched, 68,000 original um, C10. When we tore it apart, sure enough had the metal head gaskets, everything was original inside the motor. Took it to the, um, machine shop they went 10 10 on the crank 30 over on the cylinders hot tanked decked um trying to think what else but what was pretty cool because it's going in this 67 nova that i'm restoring what's pretty cool is when we pulled the original bearings out they're stamped 1967 so gm used some whatever parts they probably had still from the year prior or parts produced the year prior in 77 to build you know how who knows how many more 327s in 68 so that's kind of my link between uh this motor and being a 68 large journal and my 67 nova we'll mount those on the dashboard wife will think that's pretty neat and maybe even older guys that uh, would want that for towing. Cam bearings. All pressed in, set in. Now, do those just snap in, kind of pop in the grooves, or do they just kind of sit in there? They're, they're semi-pressed. Semi-pressed. All right, so we are gonna take these Q-tips. What are we gonna do, check the journals? Yep. Make sure there's no gunk in it. These look like the ones those piece of, at, piece of shit Cuomo brothers use up their nose for COVID tests. It's so fucking funny. 
We're not going to use those. We're going to use these smaller ones. So even after spraying this down with brake cleaner and running the Q-tips through here, we still got some grime and some crap. So this is just the little extra prep stuff that, probably, you know, we Jim firmly believes goes a long ways, and I don't see why it wouldn't. Um, Bearings going on the main cap. Cap one, arrow facing the front. A little arrow right there. Seal. Okay, getting ready to put the rear main cap on. Applying ultra black gasket. Just a little bit, huh? That's it. You want to get it in the bearing material and seal. Seal in place. Cap goes down. Bolts. Mm. What are you doing there? Checking the thrust clearance. Checking the thrust clearance. What are you looking for? That it has clearance and not too much. Just a, just a little bit of movement? Yeah, I need to put the dial indicator on it to do it correctly, but we'll do that after we're all done. This dial will start telling you when you're getting closer and it'll beep. Snap on torque wrench. Pretty state of the art. Well, that's kind of cool because then you know exactly like how many lights, right? Like, mm -hmm. so you can actually not just by feel, you know, you're putting an equal amount as you slowly torque. It'll get green lights when you get when you're done when you hit your torque setting. Now, does that have to be recalibrated? It does it every time you fire it up. Wow, that's better than the um, Harbor Freight. Harbor Freight, yeah, Harbor Freight. Uh, the problem with Harbor Freight torque wrenches is it's used to test. Uh, they calibrate it with Chinese bolts, which then. <laughs> So if you're using all Chinese stuff, then you can go ahead with a uh, Harbor Freight torque wrench. Malaysia. Malaysia, um, Taiwan, they're all, they're all very similar. Starts out good metal. <laughs> so you're loosening up that one now after it's torqued to do what? Plastic gauge. Plastic gauge. Check clearance. Check clearance. clearance. Clarence. So it's been torqued down. You then place a small piece of what? Plastic gauge. Plastic gauge on the bearing. Retorque that down and see if it clears or doesn't get smashed. It's gonna smash. It's gonna smash. 
So what are we looking for? That it. The thickness when it's smashed and you hold it up against the paper that the, oh, okay. the tells you the, the clearance. Is there a clearance? Torque. Zeroing torque. So it zeroing. itself every time you fire it up. What's that torque wrench worth? It's 900 bucks. 900 bucks. How much I paying you to use it on my motor? Uh, Dinner and some beers. And an air gap. Oh yeah, air gap. I forgot you stole that last time you came out here on my bench. We have a brother, uh, brother deal where if he needs it more than me, he takes it or vice versa. We, do, we rarely charge each other. Okay, here's how it works. Now he measures it with the card. We need to look that up. All right, ring compressors. Jim's already hung the rings and the what do you call the other piece on those? The oil. Oh. So you got your rings. This is your oil ring. Oil ring. And compression ring. And compression rings. Okay. So when we pulled the motor apart, Jim stamped each of the rods and they went to the machine shop so we knew which order and where they came from in the block. He's now putting the rod bearings on. So cut some 3-8 hose and put over the ARP rod bolts. Why are you doing that? Protect the journals of the crankshaft. To protect the journals of the crankshaft when he Hank puts these down in there. Number two, or we go to three? Should be two. Two. And how do you count cylinders on a, um, one, three, we start five, uh, driver side? Yeah. One, three, five, seven. Two, four, six, eight. Two, four, six, eight, odd, even. Passenger side, even. squeeze and there she goes nice it's coming along we are fully hung looking good didn't have the state-of-the-art uh, ring compressor so we had to use those uh, this style which wasn't the slickest so we were just talking about investing in a bunch of what kind of ring hangers cone style or new Fancy, anyways. Latest technology in hanging rings. I'd be spitting that. Roll her over, let's look at her. Look at all that lube just gooey sitting in there, gonna be uh. It's going to sit for a little while till we get our...